giveaway time. I am giving out the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip Kit. This is going to be for my last video's giveaway. If you do not know what I'm talking about, it's probably because you did not pay attention to the video or you did not watch it. So make sure you are subscribed, turn on your post notifications. I will be doing a giveaway on each of my videos. I am a nail hoarder and I'm trying to get rid of a bunch of my stuff that I do not use. So make sure you guys are tuned in. This is going to be limited. For the first 20 people that answer my question that I answer in the video, you guys are going to be entered into the giveaway. If you are a company wanting to sponsor any giveaways, email me. I would love to collab with a bunch of you guys. And we're just gonna go ahead and pick the winner. I'm gonna be inserting it onto the screen. And the winner is <laughs> Martha Macias. Email me or message me on Instagram and I will get that sent out to you guys. Make sure you guys stay tuned, turn on your post notifications and let's get right into the tutorial. All right, so for this video, we are going to be doing some milk bath nails. I know a lot of you guys have requested this type of nail, so I am going ahead and doing that for you guys. Here, I'm just prepping my practice hand with a sanding band. I don't really need to do this, but I figured since I haven't worked on an actual client, I would include this step. This is basically how you prep the natural nail bed for the acrylic application. I'm going around the cuticle area ever so gently and then just removing the shine from the rest of the natural nail bed. I'm taking my Not Polish Universal Tips. These are my go-to as it is very easy to change the shape from these stiletto pre-shaped tips to coffin. So I do highly recommend these if you're wanting to cut back on time on your application process. This does help a ton. Now I'm taking my craft scissors and just clipping off that tip. Now I'm taking some dried flowers from Profiles Backstage. Don't forget to use my code for a discount. Milky White from Not Polish. The monomer is from Profiles. And my acrylic brush is from Profiles as well. I'm just taking some of that white and applying it to the tip. So I start off with a very thin base. I like to apply a thin base of milky white. Then I go in with my dried flowers. This is probably going to be your best bet as it is a lot easier to encapsulate that way. Once you have that acrylic on there and let it dry just a little bit, the flowers will adhere very, very easily to them. So I'm just taking a cute little orange leaf and I'm placing that over the top of that white acrylic powder. Now you can pre-cut these before you place it onto the nail or place it on there and then just clip off the excess so you kind of know where you want to place it. And I did accidentally break it, but that's fine because I went ahead and I fixed it afterwards. So just taking my craft scissors, I'm going ahead and clipping off the excess that is hanging off of the tip. With my brush, I am able to just pick that right back up, flip it over, and fix it as if it was never broken. So I'm taking some more white, laying it on there, and then just adding some little green accents. So there's so many different ways of doing milk bath nails. This is just my personal favorite. And what I like to do is just overlay some of that white acrylic powder over top of it. 
just in certain areas because there are some pieces that will be sticking out more than others and then um, you have some that are way more submerged. Also, you are more than welcome to just choose one specific color to stick to whenever you're doing milk bath or you can do the whole rainbow. I love to mess around with my different options and just kind of figure out what I like. These are from Profiles as well. They will be linked down below. And then I'm just kind of randomly placing them. I like to give you guys options, you guys know that. So I'm basically just showing you what it would look like to stick to one color and then adding a little bit of foil in there. Now I went ahead and encapsulated this specific nail just because I kind of wanted to see what it was gonna look like whenever I was done encapsulating it. Now I'm taking some more white on that ring finger and placing it again on the tip. That is going to be our base for it to adhere. And then I'm taking some yellow little flowers. For this nail, I decided to go with yellows and a little bit of a red just to give it a little bit of a pop. You can most definitely mix in there every single color to give it more of that rainbow feel. I was just kind of trying to mess around with my color combinations and see what was gonna look cute and what I liked. So. Sometimes if you place your flower on there and there are p bits and pieces that are way too lifted off of the nail and you're not able to fully fly in onto the nail, go ahead and just pop some more acrylic under there and it'll make up for that space that you have. And then again, I'm just placing some of that milky white over the top of those flowers. And then again, as base, I'm placing some more. So I like to work in little sections versus over the entire nail surface. If you go in and put white all over it, for my experience, it will dry a lot faster and then you won't have anything for it to adhere to. So I do recommend you guys work in little sections, kind of move your way up or move your way down. It really doesn't matter as long as you are working in tiny little sections. And I'm just adding a few of those little pieces that kind of fall off of the flowers. I kind of just like to place them around the nail to kind of give it a little bit more of a full look. Again, constantly putting some more of that acrylic powder over top of the flowers. So to me, the feel of a Milky Bath nail is a lot of the flowers are submerged into the milk and then some little pieces are kind of popping outside of the milk over top of it. So that's kind of what I'm trying to mimic here as best as I can. And so for our middle finger, I'm taking some pretty teal flowers and just mixing them as well with some pink ones. They're more of the fuchsia tones. And I did really like this color combination. I love the brights for the summer, so it is nice and perfect for the upcoming season. Now, I did wanna talk a little bit about Profiles Backstage. I have been using this company's products for a long time. Since the first time that I went to a hair and nail convention, I discovered them and absolutely fell in love. Their stuff is super affordable and super cute. So I did, stock up a ton every single year that I've gone to the show. I have stocked up over and over again. So that is where you see the majority of my glitters in my drawers. If you guys saw my story, they are from Profiles. I love their stuff. So I was super excited whenever they reached out to me. Thank you for all my subscribers that ordered the neon powder pigments from their site. They reached out to me and they offered me a discount code for all of you guys. So if you guys are interested in any of their other products, do it now. I have a discount code for you guys and I will be linking that down below. So check their products out. All of their glitters are super, super affordable. Highly recommend their stuff, you guys. So going right into the index finger, I am doing more of the pinks and a little bit of a green. I love that contrast, so I was wanting to do that on this finger. And I ended up cutting up that little 
flower because it just wasn't working out the way I thought it was going to work out. Again, just overlapping some milky white over it, adding more flowers. I do think the more layers you add, the prettier it's going to look. I just wanted to save a lot of these flowers for my actual clients and not on my practice hand. So that's why I didn't do a ton of layering, but if you have the product, go ahead and just layer away and it will give such a pretty effect. And I do like discovering new products. And so this brush, you guys know I've been using the same one for like three years. This brush is so good, so I am really excited to share that with you guys. I do really like it. It is equivalent to the brush that I have now, and I am super excited to be messing around with another brush other than my OG one. So I do recommend this one as well if you guys are looking for a new brush. And then I'm just going over the top of some of the brighter areas and trying to conceal it with a little bit more of that milky white. And then I am going ahead and encapsulating the nails. We want to ensure that we protect that nail art, especially because we are using dried flowers in this, you want to make sure everything is nice and sealed. giveaway time the first 20 people to comment down below their favorite nail length whether it is short medium long extra long let me know down below the first 20 people will be entered into my giveaway the winner will be announced in my next video taking my drill bit from combo number two these are from not polish and i'm taking that flat top one it is very very fine so i'm going to be using that for the entire nail surface now i'm taking the tiny little cuticle area one this helps get your product nice and flush in the cuticle area so i do highly recommend this one I'm taking that really fine carbide bit. Be careful with these because they do have a very sharp edge when it comes to those flat top ones. So be very, very careful. I don't really ever use this towards the cuticle because I am terrified of them. So I do recommend you guys to just go over that entire surface gently without getting close to any of their skin. So this is so perfect for those finishing touches. It files it nice and smooth. I like to go vertically, straight up and down. It's the easiest whenever I'm doing long nails. And then for the shorter nails, I like to go horizontally side to side. And I'm taking my Tammy Taylor peel and stick hand file and just filing the sides of the nails. This is where we are going to be perfecting that shape. 
I go side to side on every single finger and then I like to go over the top of the entire surface of the nail as I have better movement with a hand file than an e-file so I like to just make sure everything is nice and smooth and of course I'm repeating that on all of the fingers I'm just turning over that hand and perfecting that shape. I like to turn the hand around so I can see the client's perspective and make sure everything is nice and perfect. Now I am taking my sponge buffer and just going over the top of the nail surface and just going ahead and making sure everything is perfectly smooth and then right after this step i would typically have my client wash their hands or i just cleanse with swipe from young nails only if i don't have the extra time for them to wash and y'all already know i'm using my go-to not polish gloss it for the shiny top coat I am wanting that perfect shine for those milky nails. And then of course we cure this for 60 seconds to 90 seconds. This basically concludes this tutorial. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time.